Hi guys, this is Ian Fairley, and welcome back to another episode of My Dinosaur Series. Last time on My Dinosaur Series, we talked about how the back-crested cacaminator may have used its crest for gender determination, or most likely body temperature. We also talked about how the crocodile-like ichthyovenator used its neural back sail for body temperature and used its tail as balance when swimming in water. Now that we have talked about those dinosaurs, it's time to talk about the type of dromaeosaurs from the late Cretaceous period, such as Pyroraptor and Atrociraptor. Let's start with Pyroraptor, shall we? The name of this dinosaur, Pyroraptor, means fire thief because its remains were discovered after a forest fire that may have happened during the late Cretaceous period. Where it was discovered, you ask? Well, the first remains of Pyroraptor were discovered in the southeastern France at the La Bouchardé locality of Arc Basin in Provence. It was described and named by French paleontologists Roman Elian and Philippe Taquette in year 2000. The full name of this fossil specimen was called Pyroraptor Olympius back when it was discovered in year 1992. The holotype specimen consists of the second toe claw of the left foot. The assigned paratypes include the equivalent claw at the right foot, the left second middle tarsal, another more complete second toe claw, a right long forearm bone, and two teeth. Additional material from the Vitoria Formation and the Tremp Group, both in Spain, were referred to as Pyroraptor, including five pedal digits, one manual digit, a piece of metacarpal, a right radius, a dorsal vertebra, and a tail vertebra. Some teeth from the Iberian Peninsula of northeastern Spain have been compared to those referred to Pyroraptor, suggesting that Pyroraptor may have also inhabited Spain. However, a 2022 revaluation of these teeth state that they cannot be confidently assigned to Pyroraptor and may belong to a whole different species of European dromaeosaurids. Pyroraptor olympius was a small predatory bird-like theropod that possessed enlarged curved claws on the second toe of each foot for predation. These claws were six and a half centimeters long for a dinosaur like this. As in other dromaeosaurids, these claws might have been used as weapons or as climbing aids. Its known teeth were flattened and curved backwards with their rear margins having finer serrations than at the front. In year 2009, based on volumetric analysis, the size of the dinosaur was estimated at 7 feet in length, 70 meters in hip height, and weighed 64 pounds in body mass. It was only as small as your average dog at that time. As a dromaeosaurid dinosaur, Pyroraptor had a balanced body and was also covered in feathers, just like its Asian cousin Velociraptor. Now that we have talked about Pyroraptor, it's time to talk about another species of dromaeosaurid from the late Cretaceous period, the Atrociraptor. The name of this dinosaur Atrociraptor means savage thief because these guys were fierce predators that roamed the earth during the late Cretaceous period. The one and only specimen of Atrociraptor was discovered by Wayne Marshall in 1995 in layers of the Horseshoe Canyon Formation in Alberta, Canada. The bone bed was located at the top of Unit 4 of the dig site, which dates to about 68.5 million years ago. The only known specimen consists of parts of the upper and lower jaws, teeth, and numerous small fragments. The skull appears to have been usually short and tall. The teeth are relatively straight, but emerge from tooth sockets at an angle to the jawline, resulting in a strongly rigged row of teeth. A number of those isolated teeth have been recovered from the dig site and can be recognized by their unusually large serrations. In 2004, Philip Curry and David Verichio named and described the type species of Atrociraptor, Atrociraptor marshall. The generic name is derived from Latin Atrox and Raptor. The specific name honors Marshall. In 2010, Gregory Paul estimated the dinosaur's length at 6.6 .6 feet, a body mass of 33 pounds, and a height of 22 inches. Atrociraptor was by its describers assigned to the Velociraptorinae, 
within a larger Dromaeosauridae. However, in 2009, Curry published a cladistic analysis showing that a Trociraptor was a member of the Sorinithelestinae family. A 2022 study and analysis further vindicates this position and classifies the Trociraptor as a derived Sorinithelestinae. As I might have mentioned before in the event of my last episode, both Pyroraptor and Atrociraptor were featured in the new Jurassic Park film, Jurassic World Dominion. Well, that's all the facts for this episode. If you liked this episode, please leave a like in the comment section and subscribe to this channel. Next time on Ian Fairley's Dinosaur Series, we are going to be talking about the most frightening of the T-Rex relatives, the Daspletosaurus. This is Ian Fairley, and thank you for listening.